In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the GMW Campaign Toolkit to make your very own theme. And the first step was I went ahead and created all my images. And as you can see, I have uh, off and on versions for all the buttons in the 5e rule set. I also have a replacement chat box. I have a curtain image that gets displayed behind the buttons on the sidebar. I even threw in a couple of uh, decals. I personally hate having to remind players what that dice tower is for. So I decided I would change the image to something that tells them specifically, hey, your skill rolls go here. And when you drop the dice on the tower, it naturally says thank you, and I have my background image. Now that I have all my images, the very first thing I'm going to do is open up the Campaign Toolkit by double-clicking the icon. And since this is the first time that I have ran, ran this program since installing it, it's asking me to agree to the license agreement. And then the settings pop up, and to make life easy, the software wants to know where your Fantasy Grounds app data folder is. And I'm going to scroll down here and find my app data folder. If you do not know how to find this folder, uh, there's a link in the description with a uh, quick tip video. Also, the settings window has a link to that video as well. And then I'm going to set the default author name. And I'm going to tick the box saying do not show settings on startup. And then the uh, program starts and we're ready to create our own theme. Now let's 